Hello students, hope all of you are fine. Today we are going to solve exercise 7 from creative writing book 5. So we start our lesson. This is page number 68 from your book. Here is a part. Read through the whole passage to form an idea of what the story is about. Then create your story by filling, filling in the blanks with your own words. I can still recall the voyage I took with the crew on board the discovery. It was a frightening experience. It remains etched forever on my memory. It happened 10 years ago when I was a young boy. I was studying in the school. We were getting ready for our long voyage. As we boarded the ship, everyone was looking nervous and confused. At the beginning, the weather was sunny. However, on the fifth day at sea, the weather turned stormy and there was a downpour that I had never seen before. It was terrifying to be caught in the middle of such a storm. The pressure of the huge waves, terrifying. We felt very frightened. At that moment, an exceptionally huge wave crashed against the ship. This happened for two days. During the course of those two days, we hid in our uh, we hid in our cabins. Finally, it was all over. We looked around and saw a man who was swimming. The worst was yet to come. We realized that we had almost no food supplies left on board the ship. The future seemed bleak to us. Fortunately, the weather improved and we were able to turn back. We were soon safely back home, reunited with our families. B. Picture yourself in the given scenarios. Write down the feelings that you experienced and the sequence of things you did when faced with the situation. 1. If you go to up late, how would you manage to who how would you manage to get to school on time? What would go through your mind during that time? When I woke up and saw how late it was, I was in a frenzy frenzy i jumped out of bed and dashed to the bathroom to brush my teeth i got ready for school but it was so worried about getting scolded by my teacher two if you happened to see one of your friends smoking at a corner of the lobby how would you feel and what would you do when i first saw james with the lighted cigarette in his mouth i was shocked i was also annoyed with him for picking up such a bad habit i urged him to tell me why he was smoking three if you encountered a difficult question during the math examination and there was only 10 minutes left how would you feel how would you deal with it i could feel my pulse racing when i read the question i hastened flipped the paper to see how many questions I had still not answered. When I came to know that I still had half of the paper to complete, beads of perspiration began to drip down the sides of my face. 4. If you were a school teacher and one of your students suddenly collapsed on the floor convulsing convulsing how would you react to the situation what would you feel your feelings be i was about to take the students down to the garden when i heard a loud bang immediately there was chaos as everyone gathered around one of the students i was shocked to see david had collapsed on the floor i immediately called for an ambulance 5. You were stuck in the lift alone. 
write down your feelings from the beginning when you realize that you were trapped to the end when you were rescued. The lift came to a sudden halt and the entire place was enveloped in darkness. I began pressing the alarm button. Then I heard some noises outside. The rescue workers had arrived. See, using all the words in the box, create an interesting story. Give your story a title. The words are vampire, purple, glass, sleepers, calendar, restroom, knife, chickens, grief, forest, porridge, a vampire night. The day that I had marked out on my calendar had arrived. I wore a purple clock around my shoulder. I also wore the gla uh, glass slippers that my grandmother gave to me. According to legend, the vampire was afraid of purple and he would not suck the blood of those who wore purple. There was complete silence in the forest. Suddenly, a dark shadow stood before me. He had sharp pointed teeth. I was horrified. Then I realized he was not as frightening as I had thought at first. In fact, he looked sad. I was surprised to see a wooden hut in the forest with a chicken coop by the side. There was even a portable restroom next to the hut. There was a kitchen and porridge was bubbling in a pot. The vampire was filled with grief and my heart went out to him. I promised him that I would visit him as often as I could. D. Observe the changes in people's behavior when they are put in situations away from the norm. Describe the changes in their behavior by pointing out the differences that have taken place. 1. You are sitting for an important examination in a week's time that will allow you to gain in entry to a prestige, uh, prestigious school that your parents want you to be in. Is there any difference in your parents' behavior from the usual? How do you react to them? My parents usually allowed me to do anything I liked. However, this time they were very strict with me. They stopped me from going out with my friends and they even banned me from watching television. 2. Your teacher requests that your parents meet her one day after school. You have no idea what the matter is. What will your behavior be like towards your teacher for the next few days until the meeting? I was so much confused when Mrs. Lee requested to meet my parents. I pondered for a long time over what I could have done wrong. I made sure that I completed all my work on time. I participated actively during lessons. 3. Your school band is involved in an enter school competition in three months time. Your instructor insists that as a member of the school band, you have to commit yourself fully. What changes are implemented and how do they affect you? What is your behavior and attitude? I was very excited about the competition and I was determined to practice hard so that I would make the school proud. However, my attitude changed when the instructor began making changes to the practice schedule. 4. Three days before the examinations, you caught a bad cold. What changes took place at home and in class? However, I stubbornly refused to rest. I took a lot of medicine and continued going to school. At home, I tried to continue study, but my mother insisted that I rest. E. Based on the pictures given, write a story with a creative ending of your own. You may use the helping words in the box to write your story. Helping words are rely, nervous, Baton, dash, track, participants, excited, position, third, warm up. The rally was about to start. The excited participants were waiting at the starting line. 
the starter fired his pistol and they were off the excited participants ran as fast as their legs could carry them the blue team was leading the baton was passed smoothly from one team member to the next to the next however just as the third team mate was about to pass the baton to the last runner he tripped and fell lying there the boy who fell saw the other participants moving fast to the position f narrate a story of at least 200 words about a fire that you were caught in helpful hints to get you started what you saw when you caught sight of the fire what was the situation before the fire engines came describe the process to put out the fire what was the rea- what was the reaction of the people uh, for example neighbors passers by how you felt in the end a fire i was waiting for my father in his office when i heard a commotion from outside i ran out to gather vi- with my father's colleagues and saw groups of people running down the corridor shouting for everyone to leave the building there was a distinct smell of something burning i went straight towards the staircase as I knew that I had to avoid the lifts when there was a fire. The stairs were already packed with people. My father's friend tried to push me into the lift, but I refused and continued towards the staircase. By the time I reached on the top floor, a thick cloud of smoke came towards me. I wanted to run off, but a group of people was already ready, uh, running in my direction. Just then four firemen appeared and two of them immediately brought us down to safety the other two remained to fight the fire by the time i reached the ground floor i was all right i finally realized how big the fire was and what a dangerous situation i had been in Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.